Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Lion12 in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their solar system. Without further ado, let's get into it. So their system is called the Kellis system. Let's go ahead and uh, get it booted up here. So there it is. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, here we are. Okay, the Kellis system is one long abandoned with the previous inhabitants remains left behind all objects agreed to copy okay here we are Alrighty. interesting so here it is Kellis itself kate a k star a k class star smaller than the sun it has a not visualized dyson storm around it here with a abandoned low orbit station interesting okay there we go sort with that abandoned station there it is okay so first of the planets here, we have uh, Zerophia here. There it is. Let's go on a change the mood quickly. Go to get a realistic. Oh, come on. Oi. Uh, him. Uh, oh, yeah, be helpful if we press the right one. There you go. All right, that's fine. So there it is. Close that. A small metallic planet with a large magnetic sphere and a thin SO2 atmosphere. There you go. Looking good. Next up, we have our num here. Cool. Got more abandoned stations around it. Large rocky world with metal oxides covering the surface. It has two moons. Abandoned station as well. There's a lot of abandoned stations. Oh, yeah. We've got Noll over here, and then the other moon, Erdes, over here. The second moon, however, it's circular, unlike its counterpart. Okay, another abandoned station. Look at the size of the space station. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's really big. Okay. Next up, we have Sean over here. Or Derelict Mothership first. Look at that. An orbit on its own. There you go. Okay, purple colour there. Nice. So, Sean over here. So, still has good conditions. Okay. With many orbit stations orbiting along with a short ring system. So, there's a lot of abandoned stations. Abandoned Mothership there. Mega ship. What happened? What happened to the system? Everything's been abandoned. That planet still looks in good nick, though. So, you know, is it disease? You know, what, what took them out? It's still got city lights on it. So, you know, what's it? What's that? Are they dead? Is it just dead? But the lights are still going? Or, hmm. Interesting. We have a moon over here. Uga guest. Fairly circular moon is shorn with a highly inclined orbit. And we have a Jensen over here. This vibrant blue moon of Sean was a popular tourist spot for families before an infected person took a nuclear warhead and blew up the tourist center. Infected persons, there must have been some sort of bio thing or, you know, infection, plague. So I took him out. That planet's still in good nick, so it definitely wasn't, an, you know, a destruction that destroyed this race. Interesting. So that planet is a wreck. Okay. Next up we have Bainer, or Benel over here. But then again, if it if the parent planet and the moon had been wiped, what wiped the rest of the stuff out? I guess the infection went far across the whole system. High metal contents make this planet prime for industry. Its atmosphere is in part due to the industrialization, and the factories can be seen running idle on the surface. There it is. Okay, as a uh, little one, little moon there. Okay. Next up, we've got Fittiness, one of the most common names the game generates. There it is. <laughs> It's in my systems all the time. There it is. Another industrial world of a small moon. So again, it has lights on it. But it's only one home. Another uh, and a very small moon. There you go. Okay. So we've got Triyamo here. So another habitable world. What happened here? The, oh, so this is the home planet. The home planet of an extinct hyper-advanced species known as the uh, Trilinix. It's a lush world with a large variety of biomes and only a few constants. The gravity is slightly less than Earth at 0.9 g, and the world itself is slightly smaller with two small moons. But no exclamation of what happened yet. Is it going to be a mystery? Will we be left wondering forever? We will see. So, there you go. A lot of abandoned stations, okay. Got some moons over here. And we've got Lay over here. There it is. Moons of Tyrone covered in magnesium deposits of mining colonies which supplied most core systems. Okay. Nice. Okay, moving on to a gas shine. Now we've got Lori over here. There 
is. A Saturn like Gashite with two rings in yellow orange bands, supporting various moons with extinct machines present in the upper atmosphere. Okay. So all the machines are shut down. Then onto the moons. So we got Delos here. Small innermost moon of Lori that was a stronghold for military operations within 60 light years. Okay. There it is. And we have Shano. Io like moon with sulfur deposits thrown across the surface. Yep. Okay. And we've got coal over here. Icy moon with blue ice streaks across the surface was a rising level of colonization. But what happened? Then we have uh, Isen over here. This ice moon consists of mainly dry ice, giving it CO2 clouds across the body. Alrighty. Then we have this one here. Jenga. 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 Another icy like body. Okay. Lovely. We have a barrier sense over here, so what's happened here? Okay, two planets. So we've got a bow hole. Gas shine in a binary orbit of a large water world. They both have a single moon, others lost their time. Derelict mothership in orbit. And you've got the moon here. Purple atmosphere. Okay. So a large water world that has a very thick atmosphere allowing for liquid water oceans. Many colonies existed here under shallow waters. Okay. Next up, we've got uh, Euron over here. Is that where the abandoned station is? What was this? It's a completely lone abandoned station in orbit. Okay, interesting. Over to, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there was a moon in there as well. Okay, that also. Okay, so the next one is Her Hercules here. Extremely rare helium gas giant. It's nearly 100% helium, so not very dense, and it's also very massive at 10 Jupiters. So, beautiful object here. We've got Euron here, small cratered moon. We've got Minus, large blue moon with a previous small colony scattered across the surface. Again, abandoned. Abandoned station. And we have this one here. Relatively large moon with only a few remnants of impact craters. On here, people used to enjoy low gravity drag races in illicit modified vehicles. Okay. Then we have this one. Smooth moon with vibrant blues across its surface. Then we got this one here. Fat fail. Rocky moon with barely any metals remain on the surface from mass mine operations. We've got Mora. A grey body like the moon, similar not only in looks but composition too. Alrighty. This one as well, your roll. Large veins of gold were discovered in here. I like that, actually, that's quite cool. Resulted in mass gold rush, which dropped galactic prices by nearly 9,500% oh, 9, for over 20 years. Oh, yeah. Wow. Then we have uh, this one here. Tervia. Moved with beautiful contrasting colours above the surface. Perfect for interrupted explorers in the free market. Okay. Then we have Suran, which is a derelict mothership. Okay, so Suran, next planet out over here. Another derelict mothership. Lots of those. This vibrant ice giant has a very distinct ring, along with few moons, and is the last planet of the system. Okay, derelict mothership. There we have this one as well. So that is very, very cool here. Yeah. A moon heated by tidal forces that allows liquid water to flow across the surface, or barely allows. It's very close. We've got Solib here. Fairly uninteresting metallic moon of Suran. We have Go over here. Fairly average icy body with some parts of land sticking out from thick ice sheets exposing it to the rocky interior. Next up, we got Zone. What is this? Zone. Small icy body used as a risk free testing ground for researching the deadly virus that infected ah uh, okay so the deadly virus that infected clearly efforts were not successful the orbiting station lets out a broadcast partially translated as fly zero no, fly zone highly gin mats avoid at all costs i'm guessing okay so something there was some sort of virus now where did it come from though that's what i want to know and then it has um back to the last moon that's the research center and then lastly over here there it is Abandonation. Highly crazy body with a thick atmosphere and its own sub moon. So there you go. Moon of a moon. And that is it. Is there anything further out or is that it? That is it. Interesting. So a mysterious virus of some kind. I want to know more. Left it on a cliffhanger. I want to know what 
you know what will happen. But either way, interesting. So an abandoned, a completely abandoned system. Former life from like you know there would have been life around most of those planets with those uh, stations, and obviously some of it was a good lineup of planets that would have been Hatterball and stuff. So you know what happened? Something happened. And I want to know. <laughs> but there you go. So that does it for this system. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Lion12, for sending this in. I'm intrigued to know more. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, let's even go for 100 likes on today's video. If you enjoyed it as well, press that subscribe button. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers, everybody. And that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.